Hey everyone, this is Weston, and this is going to be a quick video on to show you how to keep your everyday carry light in tip-top performing condition. This is my everyday carry light. This is a 4.7's Quark Mini. They're 1, 2, 3 series, and this is the uh, R5 edition. So if, if you look that up, you'll notice it has different light features on it than some of the other ones. Number one thing about these lights or battery, battery, battery. If you're going to carry a light every day and you're not going to carry a spare battery, as soon as you start to notice your light on high beams starting to uh, fade or your modes don't change as easily or any way your little light may be temperamental, change your battery. Get a new battery on. I see a lot of people say, oh, my light doesn't shine, and then their battery's dead. You know, a lot of my friends do that. They carry it till it's just absolutely dead and there's no reason for that. These lights run an exceptionally long time and you get a lot of use out of one battery. When it's time to change the battery, change the battery. Alright, number two, I keep the light free of uh, debris. You can tell it's beat up, but I keep it free of debris. Don't let it get caked up with mud and expect that it's going to work forever. Number three, or whatever's next, the, the lens here. I made sure I bought a light that has excellent lens glass or very scratch resistance lens glass. This light's been carried every day for two years with knives, coins, and keys, and it doesn't have a mark on the lens. Take a uh, soft cloth or run it under hot water with soap and gently scrub your lens and keep your lens out. Just a light layer of dirt over this lens can cut down massively on your light output, getting through the dirt. All right, next one on the list. When you take your light apart, the number one thing I always do for anyone that's ever carried an alkaline light is I always check for any signs of corrosion or anything like that. These lithium batteries are excellent about not corroding, but I have heard of them blowing up before. I don't want, want that to happen in my flashlight, so I just keep an eye on it. I always check my spring in the back. The spring is what provides the tension to drive your circuit board here with the front of your battery. So if your spring's messed up, you need to put a new spring in there. Or if somehow you bent it trying to get it in or out, then make sure it's right. The wide side goes to the bottom and the skinny side points up. I have seen some people that got them in there backwards somehow. I mean, you can, you can flip them out with your finger if you want to. Always check your circuit board. Make sure there's no debris on the back of your board here. This is what drives your light. And next on the list, I'll drop the battery, are your threads. If you start feeling a lot of rough noises or grinds. If you take everything out of the light or your battery out, you can really hear it because it's hollow. If you start hearing a lot of grinding noises, this is just smooth as can be. If you start hearing a lot of grinding noises, then you need to check your threads. Take a damp cloth, pinch it, rotate your light to the left, and simply work all the debris out of the threads. When you get to the inside of this one, lay the damp cloth there or just a dry cloth on this end. Start, work your light to the left, and get some of your debris out. If you can blow it out with a little air pressure, that's fine. Go to the next one. The last thing you can do on these lights to maintain it, I don't think you're going to blow an LED. It could be, you could do it. But what makes this light waterproof, as we showed in the uh, water test in the last video, is this O-ring right here. Now, everybody knows an O-ring can get dry, can crack, can split, etc., etc., etc. It comes with a spare O-ring. If you find you've broken your O-ring somehow, mostly by probably leaving it full of debris, pop you a new O-ring on there. Be sure you roll it on there gently and don't stretch your O-ring. But if you notice your O-ring's looking a little dry or you want it to be a little um, easier, take the smallest amount of unscented, unflavored chapstick or something of that nature and just touch it to your finger and slightly grease your o-ring. I mean just enough to not even put a film on there and a lot of times that'll bring your o-ring back to sight. They're very good rubber o-rings. This is the original o-ring I've had on my light and I've had it for a couple years now and it's never given me any trouble. So lightly grease it but you don't want too much because grease attracts dirt. But if it looks like it needs it, just give it a touch and that'll get it back in working order. Good batteries, Check the inside for corrosion. Check the back of this for any marks. Keep your lens clean. Keep your threads clean. And make sure your O-ring's in check. The O-ring you need to keep in check because of this reason right here. Waterproofness. You mess your O-ring up, it's not going to be waterproof. Water's going to go right through those threads. If you do all that, your light should last you many years and don't beat it up like I do. And you'll have a great one to show off. Anyway... Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and be sure to check out some of my other videos. Y'all have a great one. Wes and I.